Romans chapter 1, verses 26 to 27. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly. Romans chapter 1, for example, makes it very clear that homosexuality is a sin, that these are unnatural desires. Do you think homosexuality is a sin? I think that it's, uh, it's, 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 it's unnatural. The practice of homosexuality is called an unnatural state rooted in the fallen human nature. You don't know, find two male dogs or two male lions, two male, two male, um, two male in palace, two male cats, even lizards, two male elephants, two male. There's nothing like that in nature. It's unnatural. Some argue that homosexuality is normal because some animals practice it. But the real question would be, can animals be our moral reference when it comes to sexual behavior? Not really. For instance, infanticide is practiced by lions and many other animals isn't something people, gay or straight, generally approve of in humans. There are many other behaviors that animals practice that we don't accept as morally correct. We, therefore, shouldn't take animals as our moral compass. The Bible teaches that nature, including animals, became corrupt after Adam and Eve had sinned. Oftentimes this argument is that because we see in the animal kingdom a male lion, for example, trying to have sex or having sex with another male lion, that that's homosexual, so therefore it's natural. They're doing it, so it's okay for us as humans. The problem with this argument is that you're saying that our morality comes from animals. If you're going to say that animal behavior dictates what is dictates what is moral and not moral, then you have to do that for all animal behavior. Because if you don't, then you're being a hypocrite. And so just to pinpoint out, well, the homosexual thing's okay, but nothing else is. Well, why? Why? I've heard this many times. Animals have homosexual relationships. That means yeah. it's natural, therefore it's okay. But where do we get the idea that typical animal behavior is okay for humans? Like, where does this come from? Like, animals eat their babies. Animals steal mm -hmm. things all the time. They just constantly steal things. And murder, I mean, no. 